Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm KBG and welcome back to Paper Mario the Origami King. In the last episode, we made our way into Bowser's Castle after a long amount of time trying to go through all the different spas here at Shangri Spa in order to repair Bowser Jr. We finally got him repaired. We were able to get on up to the boss guarding the way to Bowser's Castle, defeat him, and get inside. However, in the last episode... Uh, Kimmick and Olivia were both snatched away by some dark, shadowy figures, some of whom Mario had to battle himself. Um, but, in the process, we were able to get a key from Luigi to this very door right here. And at the very end of the last episode, we saw Bowser Jr. barely slip his way through. So, today, we're going to chase after Bowser Jr., see what's going on, and perhaps see if we can find a way to save Olivia and Kimmick. So here it is, the key to Bowser's throne room found by Luigi, because he finds every key except the very one he's looking for. But you know what? He saves us the trouble of finding all these other ones we need, so I guess it's worth it. Uh, well. Oh. Looks like some people got cut apart by... Some scissors or something. Whoa, hey. Hey, I didn't... I was trying to jump on top of you. It's a dark, shadowy hand. Oh, there's Olivia. Mario! Help me, I've been captured by something! It's like a shadowy, slithering hand. This is very unsettling. What is this thing? I'm scared, Mario! Please, help me! Get back in there! He just shoved, a, shoved her back into his pockets. Alright, boss battle time! <laughs> we started the last one with a boss battle, and we're starting this one with a boss battle. The last episode with a boss battle, and same with this one. We've got value mental panels, but I doubt they'll do anything when we don't even have Olivia available to us yet. So for the time being, I suppose... We just need to get a hit off on him and hope that he releases his grasp on Olivia. So I don't think we're going to be able to use Valumental Power without her. Oh. Did you just kick my action panel away from me? Try to attack from just the right distance. Not too far away, but not too close. Too close and he'll flick it away. Too far away and I can't reach. Ah, uh, well, let's try... Two away then? Well, that was rude. It just slapped my action panel away from me. <laughs> Jerk. Uh. Yeah, let's try two away. This gives us two hearts and an action panel. I don't know that it'll be able to flick this one away. Will it? No, it can't flick this one away. Nice. Handaconda. Alright, like Sandaconda from Pokemon, but Handaconda. Uh, do we use our... Go for the hammer, It's uh, that's what the toads are saying. Alright. So we have to use our hammer, but that's why we had to be within two, I guess. Because we still needed to be able to reach with the hammer. Ah! It loosens, it loosened its grip! Whatever you just did, do it some more! I suppose if we jumped on top of it, we'd probably just be crunching the pile down further. Cobra throw? Hey. Ow. Well, just pick me up and throw me. I didn't give you permission to do that. Um, okay, well, it seems we gotta keep smacking him with a hammer from exactly two spaces away. So as long as we're able to do that, everything else should be just a bonus. So we can get two times damage here. I don't know if that will help considerably or not, but we can do it. It's nothing else that would really work better there. We could use a flashy hammer even and probably try to do some major damage, probably something close to like 20. Oh, and an excellent, oh yeah, 25 damage. Just a bit more, I can almost wriggle my way out. No, oh, get back in there. Oh, it just shoves her back down into its lower region. I 
Not the best choice of words I've ever made. I don't know what to call that thing. It's coiled. How about that? It's coiled. It's coiled paper thing. Very descriptive as well. My descriptive skills are also on point. Okay, well, anyway. Mm, I guess we'll do the same thing we did last time. I mean, we could get a new note, but it's probably just going to say the same thing. I don't think it's going to say anything new until Olivia comes out. It's also giving us a lot of different valumental power panels. So I don't know which one I'm actually supposed to use. I have a feeling out of all of them, the water might make the most sense because it's just basically, I don't know, like construction paper type material. I don't know. I don't know if that would help. Well, maybe. I don't know. I, f I feel like fire could also be good too because paper burns easy, but... Uh, I don't know, one of those two. I don't, I mean, for all I know, it could be the ground one that's the best, but we used that one quite a bit in the last fight. What? Hey, she's free. All right, Olivia, now let's uh, work together on this, shall we? Ah, ah, I, I'm finally free. That was horrifying. It was so clammy in there. Yeah. Thank you, Mario. Oh, okay, now where the heck is Kamek? Is he in the coil of some other monstrosity? Now that I'm free, it's time to give this thing a slap on the wrist. Head for a magic circle, pronto! Well, we know we can't be... Oh. Wait, what? The magic circle's changed into something else! What am I looking at here? Is this rock? And this is scissors? And here's paper. Oh my gosh, I've heard of this. Could this really be that legendary form of hand-to-hand -hand combat? Stony Sheedy Cuddy? What? Is that not it? Rock, paper, scissors? Oh, that has a much better ring to it. Well, whatever it's called, it's time to make this hissy fist, hissy fist pay. Do we really have to just guess? Do we really just... Is, is this really rock, paper, scissors? We have to... You're making me guess. Well, I mean... Scissors makes the most sense as a fighting idea like trying to cut this thing up but is this really just coming down to playing rock paper scissors is this going to be a one in three chance every turn of actually doing damage as if so that's a bit unfortunate uh there's a paper there or a letter of some sort playing rock paper scissors while close gives you higher attack power but makes it harder to guard <laughs> so i just screwed myself essentially from farther away, your attack will be weaker, but it'll be easier to guard. Well, I guess we're seeing rock, paper, scissors on. We'll use your 1,000 fold arms to play rock, paper, scissors. Shake the controller on the last beat of rock, paper, scissors to form the move on this panel with your hands. Ready? Let's go. But is it on scissors or is it on shoot? Is it rock, paper, scissors or is it rock, paper, scissors, shoot? Come on, scissors. Shake the controller. Rock. Paper. Scissors. Okay. Well, at least it told me. A, we win. Nice. Okay. Well, we made a good call going up close that time. Yes. You did it. Great move, Mario. Now we know how to defeat this thing. Win it, rock, paper, scissors, then hit it with a rush attack. Nice. I don't think I'm going to go up close and personal again. So do we go scissors again? Or do we try something else? Well, I don't think it'll go paper two times in a row, so rock's probably the safest choice. Watch, it'll go it'll go paper twice in a row. And I will hate my existence. Okay, um, no health. We do have a 1-up. So, or 1-up mushroom. So, we might be fine. Even if we lose. Alright. Well, at least it told me that we go on scissors and not on shoot. So I didn't have any ambiguity rock paper scissors oh i knew it oh i gotta hold the thing get out of here apparently i'm great at rock paper scissors yeah he thought i was gonna switch to paper nope i was gonna switch but not to that excellent oh mario that was awful Hey, whoa! 
I was so scared, and you just rushed in to save me, like you've done so many times now. And all I could do was be as quiet as a mouse so you wouldn't let up with those mighty hammer swings. Sorry about that, I guess I got a little carried away. I hope my tears didn't leave little soggy spots on your overalls. You know what? I'm better now. I think I cried it all out. Let's go take, the, let's go take care of the green streamer. I think we're almost ready to take on my brother. Let's do it for the confetti that used to be Bowser's minions. We'll make that confetti proud. Yikes, yeah. Can I pick it up at least? <laughs> Can I pick it up and throw it at some holes? Oh wait, is this... Oops. Uh, it looks like Gemix there. Well... <laughs> nice knowing you, Gemix. I, uh... I uh, wish it didn't have to go down like that, but... Yeah, it was nice knowing you, dude. You, uh, came in clutch many times. Alright, well, time to see what's back here. I mean, unless there's anything on on the sides. Any secrets? I don't I don't think so, I doubt it. Alright, let's head on through. Are we gonna fight the pair of scissors now? I mean, we already fought a hole punch, so... I think we'll be good, but... We've already had our... Yeah, we already had our face taken off in the fight against a hole punch, so... We've... <laughs> we've gone through a lot already. Time to fight the scissors. There it is! The end of the green streamer! We did it! It's the end of the road! The last of the streamers! And then there's Bowser in the corner, held up by a clothespin. He's still folded up. Such a shame. Oh well. Hey Bowser, what's up? Hey, what's up, dude? You, 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 all right, just stay there chilling. Don't say anything. Don't, uh, don't help me. Don't give me any warning that a giant pair of scissors is probably gonna fly down and try to attack me. Up oh, there it is. Look out! Whoa! I get credit for that. <laughs> Sure, Bowser. The Dual Bladed Duelist. Scissors. Oh gosh, we're already here. We're already at the fight for the green streamer. Dang. <laughs> well dodged. Of course I expect nothing less. It would have been terribly boring to end things so quickly, yes? Why don't you warm up a bit? I'll send out my new pet for you to play with. Uh, what's your new pet? Oh, a giant buzzy beetle <laughs> with clippings from Bowser's minions. Oh my gosh, do those scissors make that thing out of people's faces? I can hardly even look at it. How monstrous. And yet, you must face it. Have fun. I'll be waiting if you happen to survive. Uh, okay. Well, this is, uh, this is like a paper macho fight. Hey, look, come back here. Thank you. I'm saved. Nah, not really. You're still kind of not in, not in existence any longer. Come here, dude. Come at me. Let me smack you around a little bit. There we go. Hey, health, even though that was completely unnecessary. Whoa. Can I actually attack this buzzy beetle? Or do I just have to get these little Koopa heads? Looks like I have to intercept them before they hit the fence, otherwise they just go right back into the buzzy beetle. <laughs> I guess this is better, one of them said. Oh! Well, Kemek's not dead. His face still lives on. Mario, it's me, Kemek! This monstrosity has hijacked my magical abilities! Well, that would explain this. Watch out, he's charging up an extremely powerful spell! If you could just remove my face, it should significantly weaken this this paper mistake. Try to dodge the attack and then peel my face off. Yes, I know it sounds ridiculous. Just do it! Hey, you've never steered me, steered me wrong before, Kamek. Alright, just gotta... Wait for the right time, and... Come on, yank off! Ow! Okay, I wasn't... Wasn't ready for that. Alright. Just try to hit me again. 
Dry. Ain't gonna work. Oh, wait, two! Okay, I was not expecting two. Alright. Well, we'll just wait for this for the next cycle. I was not expecting two. I was getting ready to just charge right at him. Alright, two? No, three this time! Three! Wow. Alright, can we get this thing off? <laughs> Come on, Chemic. Chemic. Could at least put in some effort there. At least wiggle your face a little bit. Try to get it off. Try to get yourself off that. Alright. Well, that time was only two. Alright. Come on, quick. Quickly, get it off! There we go. You've done it! Now it's just an ordinary giant buzzy beetle with slightly less devastating attacks. Finish it off quickly, will you? I'll try. Oh yeah, we fought these before. We fought it before on that... Ow! Paper Macho Island where we had to fight all this stuff. Alright. Let's do this! Although this one, I... Th Is it the same? I think it's the same. Ow! I feel like it does less damage, though, than the one on that one island. The island with all the giant paper macho enemies. And it still bounces around like crazy. Come on, Mario, run! Excellent. Now give me all that confetti! Oh, wait, I guess... Never mind, I can't really collect the con... Oh, I can collect some of it! Thank you. I will take that. My bag was very empty. And hey, we're healed back to full, too. Nice. I think that's all the confetti we're getting. Don't forget about the scissors! I suppose any toy made out of the faces of those pathetic minions was bound to be flimsy. No matter, I trust you've warmed up. On guard! Alright, let's do this thing. <sighs> Seriously, it feels like we're fighting the things from Paper Mario Sticker Star. Because there was a giant scissors in that game that we could use. This one's turned against us! Alright. Let's get this straight. I will annihilate you. But I don't see why we can't have some fun first. After all, where's the challenge in slicing you to strips immediately? Therefore, I shall grant you a slight advantage. Oh, he's... He's sheathing himself. What a kind gentleman. See, my blades have been sheathed. We're on equal footing. However, should you damage this cover during our battle, I shall interpret such boldness as a direct challenge, and I won't hold anything back. Uh, well... <laughs> then, I guess we're gonna have to find some other way to damage you. Alright, well... We could use our thousand-fold arms, but I... I'm not sure what the strategy is that we want to do here. So instead, I'm just going to use a regular action panel and wait to see what this letter has in store for us. But seriously, a lot of boss fights recently. <laughs> it's like the third one between the last two uh, two videos. Danger, danger, do not break that cover. Aim your attacks caref carefully. I'm going to guess if we break the cover, we're dead. <laughs> okay, well, we'll make sure not to do that, because that would be bad. So if we used our hammer right now, we would hit the cover, but we don't want that, so we'll use our boots instead. Alright, hey, that was actually a decent chunk of damage. I'll take it. Enemy turn. Dull edge. Ow. <laughs> hey, at least we got the block. I had to try like three times for that. Oh, and now we gotta use the hammer. So I'm going to guess we want to use our thousandfold arms once he is face, or when his blades are facing down. Because if we used it when they were facing up, we might accidentally rip it off or something like that. Alright. Well. Uh. Let's see.
All right, this would put us at an action panel over here. If I move this, and then move this, we can get an action panel much closer so we can actually use our hammer. Yeah. And we get times two damage too, which is pretty good as well. We definitely want to make sure we use our hammer. Alright. Might as well use the flashy weapons. I don't even know why I bother not using them. We've got basically an unlimited supply of really, really good weaponry at this point. Safe T. Yes, yes! It's been ages since my last clash with the... Where's it? Gosh, okay. Yes! Yes! It's been ages since my last clash with a worthy opponent. I feel such a rush. Come at me. Bring your worst. Couldn't speak there for a second. I don't know what happened to me. Oh, 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 he's flipping. Mm, I don't know then. Well, whatever. As long as we just have it be an action panel... Then we can try to time it. I still don't trust Thousand Fold Arms if he's, especially if he's flipping. Time your attacks to match the movement of the scissors. Don't attack its cover. Right, otherwise we're either dead or we're taking a lot of damage. Okay, wait, 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 flashy boots. Okay, wait, wait for it. Okay, I was worried that that whole time where we were, like, waiting after selecting our move that he was going to flip. But no, it seems like after we lock in our attack, he decides to take off, or he, he decides to stop moving. All right, enough. It was fun while it lasted, but your feeble attacks have grown tiresome. Let's cut to the climax. Ha-ha! <laughs> mm, oh, he's unsheathing himself. Well, we're screwed. <laughs> you shan't be needing these, and I prefer an uncluttered battlefield. Uh, mm, mm, uh, yeah, uh, I kind of wanted that. I'm readying my ultimate attack. You won't stand a chance. Oh, uh, well. I guess I won't stand a chance, then. Our only chance at this point is probably just to attack him. I can't really see any other option. I mean, we could, uh... Get the chest open. But... I don't know what our options are, other than... It's a good thing we've got life up, Shroom. You can't guard against the scissors blade attack. Press A to jump at just the right moment. Well, apparently we got to jump at just the right moment. I do not trust jumping at this thing right now, so I'm going to use my flashy hammer. And smack it instead. Bang. 28 damage. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten so close. Guarding is useless. This is the end for you, you flat fiends. Farewell. Aha, guess not. Hey, that's not fair. You can't jump over it. Oh, you cheater. Stay right there. Let me go again. Well, look who... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, well, we have an on switch now. And we have some... Uh, we have some panels. So I think we're in business. That looks good. I don't I don't know what that panel is, but it looks like it's something having to do with the scissors. Let's try it. Let's try it. I want to see what that panel is. If jumping out of the way is too stressful, <laughs> try freezing it to stop it from moving. Oh, if it's too stressful. I mean, yeah, but... St <laughs> gosh. Alright, does this freeze it? 
Is that what this does? Oh, is this Ice Value Mental Power? Is that what this is? Oh, it is! I was wondering what that panel was. Thought it looked kind of like a scissors, but no, I guess it was Polar Bear standing up. Oh, excellent. And 24 damage. Take that, scissors. How do you like me now? Frozen. Can't move. Ah, too bad. Looks like I get to do whatever I want. <laughs> While you are stuck frozen in there. Well, that's delightful. Uh, I will give myself two moves then. Or two actions. And... Go from there. When the scissors are frozen, you will have a perfect chance to unleash a thousandfold arms attack. Well, I wish I had known. I wish I had known that. I would have opened the chest. Well, I guess it's also a per perfect opportunity to hammer. Use the flashy hammer. Unless this does no damage while he's in there. Oh uh, well, I guess it does no damage while he's in there. Oops. Well, that was a waste. Looks like we're gonna have to freeze him again. Uh, don't you dare. Okay, he did not take my panel that I need. My, my uh, ice panel. <laughs> so we're fine. Because, yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to have to time the jump. It'll be too stressful. <laughs> okay, so we get the treasure chest, which will unleash the thousandfold arms. Oh, wait, we already have one. Whatever, we need to freeze him anyway. That should at least free the on switch. And then the next turn we can hit him with thousandfold arms. And hopefully do a ton of damage to him. Alright. Well, at least at least uh, when we freeze him it also does damage. So it's not entirely like we wasted the last opportunity we had. We still do 24 damage, which is nice. Bam! 24 more damage. Alright, well, we're over halfway done with this guy. And thankfully, he doesn't seem to be one of those bosses that can regenerate, like the rubber band. Gosh, that boss was so annoying. You had to kill it, like, very precisely. But this one doesn't seem to be as annoying. Alright, so there is one thousandfold arms panel. Okay, so this would... Oh my gosh. Let's get this out of the way. Actually, we could just put this here. Um, right? Because then we go up, hit the on switch, and thousandfold arms it up. Sounds good to me. All right, what are we doing? Thousandfold arms. I still don't know how this is going to be good with a block of ice. I guess we're going to pound it. Oh, we're grabbing at the bottom. Oh, and toss it. Oh, I see. Shatter it. Oh, and then hit it. Come on. Oh, that's some good damage. All right, well, we just got to, well, I guess, first of all, see what we can even do. Oh, yeah. I still think we've got what we need, though. <laughs> I mean, he did all that work, but, like, uh, you know, I still think we're fine. Because, yeah, we just freeze him again. We freeze him again, and the act of freezing him might actually just be enough to kill him. And if not, we thousandfold arms again, and he's dead anyway. So, no matter which way you slice it, he is going to be dead. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, he's just got like one tiny little sliver of health. I'm pretty sure we could finish him off with a hammer if we were able to. But alas, the hammer does no damage, so instead we're going to have to thousandfold arms it up. Right, so... Just put it right here. 
That should be good. We get a heart, even, so we restore some of our HP. On switch, thousand full arms. That should be it. End of battle. Yes, we already know, but thank you for the reminder, I guess. 30 more HP. And this should be it. Magic circle on! Thousand fold arms. Grab the ice. Throw the ice. Break the ice. Pound the hammer. And we've done it. I was like, yeah, that was only 20 damage. Like, we seriously could have just, just taken him out with the hammer at that point. Because that's overkill. How about that? Had enough? That'll teach you to underestimate my friend Mario. Huh? Uh, don't go... Well, okay, never mind. Oh, now it's exploding. I was like, maybe he's faking it? But, no. Wait, how are they all magically healed now? I mean, I know we're in the Shangri Spa, but they haven't been to the spa. Um. Alright, well, whatever. We'll take what we can get. And what we get appears to be the final streamer. You did it, Mario! I'm fully restored, and I even managed to hang on to my wand. Yeah, not bad. I guess some of the things Dad says about you being tiny and stupid aren't true. Now all we have to do is release the green streamer. Let's take care of it the way we always do, with a big smack! Oh, what's up, Bowser? You gonna... <laughs> what's going on, my dude? Hey, that green thing is still messing up my castle. Eh, well, I guess... Then we will both be happy to get rid of it. Let's do this thing. Right after we grab Bowser and smack him around. <laughs> oh, if only. Nah, he seems to be our ally in this game for some reason. Alright, get it out of here. No more streamers! <laughs> well, with DMCA, that's what Twitch seems to be trying to accomplish. Nah, I mean, I doubt they want that, but still. Alright. That's the final one. Peach's castle is free. Now, if only Luigi can find that dang key... We'll be good to go. <laughs> I guess first we're going to have to figure out a way to get up there first. Congratulations! Green streamer cleared! And our bag of confetti is reaching its final form! Boom! Max confetti increased! Good, because there's some holes that need to get filled in this castle still. Great job as usual, Mario. That was the last streamer. We've done it. We have. Thank you all so much for helping me. You know, ever since you first saved me from that wall in Peach's castle, you've just been saving me over and over again. Yeah, and even at the sacrifice of Bobby. Unfortunate. So, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you, Mario. I truly couldn't have done any of this without you. I... I wouldn't have amounted to anything. You know, you're saying this like we've just beaten the game, but we still have to destroy your brother, you know. Are you okay, Olivia? Yes. I'm just so happy that we can get to Peach's castle now. But I wonder if I'll be able to stop my brother. Could I do something that important on my own? Hey, origami girl! You didn't think we were going to let you do that alone, did you? Don't you know how this works? Mario needs to rescue the princess, and I need to find Ollie and punchify his face for making me like this. Or at least flap aggressively at him just until I can get my body back together. Ugh! Yeah, I'm going to get him for what he did to my dad, too. And for everything I've been through. Like about 40 bats and getting cut into pieces. Ugh! <laughs> That's the spirit. Let's show them the power of Bowser's minions and flat paper! Oh, you guys, thank you. With all of you by my side, I might actually be able to do this. Let me at him! I'm coming for you, brother, and this time it won't be so easy to drop a giant boulder on me. Oh, by the way, how are we actually going to get to Peach's castle, you guys? <laughs> Don't worry about that part. 
Lord Bowser has you covered. But there's one thing you'll need to do. Get me down already! Eh, sure, yeah, fine. <laughs> oh, you guys need some help? Alright, let's get him on out of here. Oh! <laughs> nice slow-mo sequence. And he's still all folded up. That's better. Sort of. So, Mr. Bowser, what's your plan for getting to the, the castle? It's on top of a volcano, you see. Ahem. <clears throat> About the plan for reaching Peach's castle. Perhaps we should have a brief chat, my lord. <laughs> no time to listen. I have just the thing for such an excursion. Mario! Origami girl! I must prepare a few things. Follow me! To the supply closet! It's on the first floor. Alright, sure. Sweet. What do you guys have to say? Ooh, I bet Dad has some kind of sweet, or wicked sweet new toy. I'm not sure what Lord Bowser has in mind, nor am I sure he's aware of the extent of the castle's damage. Please don't tell him I'm the one who crashed it. Uh, he doesn't even know who crashed it. He just... Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's been with you guys this whole time, but, uh, okay. Supply closet on the first floor, huh? Well, it would appear that, uh... I think we're going to be saving that for next episode, because we've already accomplished quite a bit for today. We did two boss battles in one episode. That's pretty crazy. And none of our stuff broke. Sweet. I was just checking, because I felt like maybe... I'll save again just because I like to save and make sure that I saved. <laughs> I don't know, I've always been weird about that kind of stuff. But anyway, yeah, I think that's going to do it for today. In the next episode, we will follow Bowser to his supply closet, figure out what's going on with... or what what his plan is to reach Peach's castle. Um, and maybe do a few other things to tie up some loose ends. Um, because if we're really going to the final area i mean we should probably get some stuff figured out i at least want to finish exploring bowser's castle because i know there were at least like two rooms that i couldn't get into because we ran out of confetti but now that our bag is extra full <laughs> uh we should be able to for sure uh finish everything up in here uh i i do at some point still want to go back and get all of like the remaining hearts and other things we missed i think there's one island we missed when we were sailing the great sea so i think i do want to check those things out at some point but i do know there is a pipe to a sixth area which i am almost positive refers to peach's castle i think there's going to be a pipe in there that takes us all the way back to toad town so i think i'll wait till we find that once we find that uh we'll probably go back and uh search through all the remaining areas and stuff get all the remaining hearts and whatever and uh, just make sure we're fully prepared for the final showdown with King Ollie but that's at a later point in time next episode we'll probably just focus like I said on exploring the rest of Bowser's castle and then seeing what's going on in the supply closet and maybe even reach Pe Peach's castle who knows but uh, yeah that's going to do it for me today thank you all so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please be sure to like comment subscribe all that good stuff it would really help out the channel and I would greatly appreciate it um yeah once again that's it for me today so yeah once again thanks for watching and hopefully i'll see you in the next episode peace